Okay, fellas, we're going to start here in a couple minutes. Just want to make sure a few more people get in here for the live uh, for the live stream here. But as you can see, the the basis of this video is to show that you don't need hardcore hardware to get a good experience. I'm going to show this machine running iRacing, and you're going to see that it's more than adequate to run iRacing on high settings. So. Uh, if you have any any questions, just give a holler. But yeah, we're gonna be starting here soon. Let me know if you can hear hear me. Can you guys hear me? I'm gonna show this actually running iRacing. racing. Now this is a an FUG PC. It's a bare it's a bare machine, so there's nothing on it but iRacing. racing. And you're gonna see that the uh, frames that you're gonna get and whatnot is absolutely fantastic with this uh, what would be considered older hardware. Uh, the Ryzen 5 2600 came out about three years ago and then of course the GTX 1060 and this is the three gigabyte version it's um, it's absolutely fine for single screen iRacing it will also do fine for triples as well but I'm going to show today it on a 1080p single monitor what you can expect with these uh, lower end parts now the good thing is with these lower end parts with FEG PC is I have pallets of these cards coming in so if you're wanting to get into iRacing cheaply this will be uh, how you do it so we're going to give it about another minute and then we'll get started Let me know if you guys can hear me or not, because I'm doing this with my NDI with my uh, with my iPhone. So hopefully you guys can see this. <clears throat> All right. So I'm gonna pick up my um, phone now which is going to be used as my mobile uh, camera there so but yeah so I haven't done one of these in a while you guys know in the past I I would also show the performance and whatnot but we got so busy it was harder for me to um, for me to do things like this but here we go so FEG PC uh, what we have here is a Ryzen 5 2600 a GTX 1060 16 gigabytes of RAM nothing fancy 500 gigabyte ssd drive you can see the pc here let me go ahead and put this down now but yeah it's rocking the ryzen 5 2600 16 gigabytes of ram hey benjamin how you doing brother there you go exactly benjamin that's what i'm saying you don't need a lot uh gtx 1060 3 gigabyte card older card uh a 550 modular uh, power supply and just a basic uh, just a basic case and here it is over here um, let me see there we go so you guys can see I do apologize for not having this steady I don't have my um, stand out that usually holds this but here we have a Ryzen 5 2600 as you can see there going to go over here to memory click on memory we got 16 gigabytes of memory it's currently using two gigabytes and I'll show how much memory iRacing is using as well uh, for disk we just have a 500 gigabyte disk and the graphics card is a GTX 1060 like we stated so I'm gonna leave this on so we can come back later and see exactly how much memory iRacing uses. Uh, they call for 16 gigabytes as uh, requirements, I believe, but you really don't need 16. But get 16 gigabytes anyway because it's very cheap. All right. So let's go into iRacing. I'm going to pull it up. 
login and we are going to I circumvent the beta UI this way I don't like it okay so let's go watch our oval race what time is it? 201 so something that started at 45 after would be good so we got Talladega let's get something with some more cars let's see that's just starting so they'll be qualifying that's no good for us class C there we go let's do a class C at Dover I have to again this is a um, customers PC as you saw there so it's gonna download it uh, we're getting our builds out really quick you see there oh that's the wrong one <laughs> another one is getting built but one that's getting built my thumb is is the date that he paid May 4th in it so you were only looking at uh, it's been nine days, probably about five or six business days. So, so we're gonna go take a look at the C Open. I picked them because they have more cars on the track. So we want we want a we want as many cars on track as we can, so that you can get the um, worst case scenario. So again, this is a Ryzen 5 2600. The GTX 1060. Why this is loading this up right here? I'll show you. All FEG PCs. That's all it's going to come with it. Some diagnostic stuff that I have in case I need to remote in, and eye racing. That's it. No junk comes on a FEG PC. It's all just straight eye racing. All right. So now we're going to watch it, and then I'm going to show you the um, the graphic settings first, so you can see. Uh, what we're looking at which it, I believe I put everything on high settings that way you can see that an easy easy build that doesn't kill the wallet will run on high settings I'll use the tripod next time, but so this is at Dover. If you have any questions, just holler. Again, if you're wanting to get you know an easy light on the wallet build, I have pallets of these lower end graphics cards coming in. As most of you guys know right now, graphics cards are at a premium. So um, if you can get in on these lower ones, that would be uh, pretty good. All right, so first thing first, let's go for the graphic settings. Right now I'm looking at the replay settings, graphic settings. You can see they are all on high. Shadows on, blah, blah, blah. And then let's check graphics down here. I'm running it in 1920 by 1080 on a 144 hertz screen monitor. Look at the performance on the left hand side, max quality. High all the way down. Kind of doing it slow so you guys can take a look. Middle columns, pretty much everything checked. Shadows on, everything. And then you got your right hand side. Things to note on the right hand side that are not checked is cockpit mirrors. Cockpit mirrors is a big hit. Uh, so pretty much this is high settings minus cockpit mirrors. All right, so let's see how we're doing. Again, this is not a replay, this is live. They're on lap 81 right now. So let's just see here. So you can see everything's on. We're in Dover, grandstands. This guy's getting a little loose. We're stopping. 
You see the grandstands are on, the pits are on, everything's on. Alright, so let's see what kind of frame rates we're getting. Now this is with everything on high. See that? 115. You can see the pits. Everything's on in the pits. Nothing short changing. Right? So that's kind of the worst case scenario there. In the pits, everything's rendering. So let's see something. Remember we talked about earlier about the memory? Look how much memory you're using. Eight gigabytes. Now let's get into another race. Just so we can watch these frames per second. You can see they're starting to go up now. But I want to get them while we're racing in a pack. That pack ended, so let's um, let's do it again. And if you got any questions, just fire away. Uh, let's see. Let's watch again. Okay, let's go take a look at the carburetor cup. That should be tight pack racing, super speedway. And the point of this is just to show you guys that you don't need to kill your uh, bank account to uh, get in iRacing. That was high settings, as you saw. High settings. And we were at 110, 115 frames per second on high settings going down pit road where it's rendering everything. Let's take another look here and see what we get. So if you or anyone you know needs a simulation PC, give FEG PC a holler, www.fegpc.net. And uh, go to our contact page and then we can get in contact with you. I'll ask you a few questions on how you're gonna run iRacing and, and propose an initial build for you. And then of course we can work together to change it around. But again, this is just a simple Ryzen 5 2600 with the GTX 1060. Remember these nice little white GTX 1060s? They were all the rage four years ago. Now the things probably go for about 400 bucks on the black market. All right, so here we are again. Let's uh, show the graphic settings once again. High detail, pretty much. Middle column, everything pretty much checked. Right hand side, the only thing a note turned off is cockpit mirrors. So let's. We are live. We are in a pack with everything on. And we're going down the front stretch right now. So about 114, 115 frames per second. We're getting away from the front stretch now. The guy's crashing a little bit, but you saw it jump up to 150 a little bit. He's crashing. Let's see if we can get to someone who's not crashing. Nah, it looks like this one's ending too. But you can see, you, you get really, really good frame rates. And that's with everything on high. If you put some things down to medium, you would easily see 150 to 200 frames per second. So. But yeah. That is pretty much what I wanted to show you. So, um, what does something of that build run money wise? Um, Ronnie, go to my contact page and uh, put your information in there. But uh, something like this that you're going to run 
120, 130 on all high, maybe 150 to 200 with a high with a mix of medium. Something like this is going to run you, be, depending on what else we put in it. There's lots of different options. You're going to be looking at around 800, 800 or so. And that includes a warranty, etc. Now I have a bunch of uh, lower end graphics cards coming in. So I can offer these uh, until those run out, but I have pallets of them coming in. So. so, Jason's asking about VR. Yeah, I'll just give me a PM on that. But yeah, this is what you got right here. A Ryzen 5 2600 with a 1060. At the beginning of the, uh, at the beginning of the session, I was holding up my phone with my retirement badge. Most of you guys know that I'm a retired uh, customs agent with Homeland Security. So, but now I'm the owner of FEGPC. So, if you guys need anything, uh, don't hesitate to ask. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.